Cause I'm happy. Couple of on if you don't like a hundred dollar I hate that so fucking you with your big ass hat <laughs> shove it up your ass. Cause I'm how horrible. At one point, I can't even remember a time. Dude. I can't even remember a time that I liked it. I know there was one. There was one. Like I know was, there was a second. It was early to I remember the day. I remember the day. I was like, oh, it fun. was early 2014. Okay. I heard it a few times before I did a road trip with my mom from Washington to Ooh. California. Ooh, fun. We got inside of a U-Haul, which all they had, of course, was the radio stations. Hot and top 40. We literally heard the song every <laughs> hour, <laughs> no matter what station. And at first it was funny. It was like, this might sure. be our anthem, right? For like, our road oh my trip. Gosh, we are happy. <laughs> Not even half a day in, I was like, I'm going to fucking murder this radio. Yeah. This is like third, the third no time it plays. Oh happy. my gosh, it's our song, Mom. And the only joy my mom <laughs> got out of it was not hearing the song again, but was seeing my very angry reaction and my sarcasm about the song and just thought how ironic it is. So till this day, if she hears it on the radio, which is very rare, thank God. Very rare. They got that out of rotation. She will send me a quick little video of like, Snap along to it, be like, remember this? I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> By the way, now I know. Now, what, you know. To the, now I know how to really get you. It's if like, I'm like the, do you remember Lamb Chop's play along? As I age myself here. I remember Lamb Chop. It was back in the day when we used to watch, right? Little Lamb Chop. It was yeah, like yeah, the puppets, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. the dog and stuff. And they used to have, this is a song that never ends. Maybe yes, it goes on and on, on my friend. friend. Some people. Yeah. So that is like, singing. right? At first, it's kind of fun. Sure. And then the kid keeps singing it, and it doesn't stop. And, the <laughs> and then you fucking keep shoot. playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. That, that song's equivalent to that. Yeah. If I it's actually harassment. heard it. Yeah. Like, I think when you guys heard us singing it, you a couple of you maybe turned off the podcast and i did. get it do you know what i mean because that sure song is triggering be bopped to it and now we're feeling very bad about be bopping to like, it oh. and everyone else was like shut the fuck up yeah <laughs> we don't want to judge you if you like it no it's okay it just I mean, means I, no, i'm gonna judge you we're gonna judge you but here's the thing it just means that you haven't heard it enough, enough times that means that like you've only heard it maybe two three four we five all tops have that song that's overplayed and there's particular ones that you cannot stand. Yeah. I'm trying to think what summer it was, but do you remember Lana, Lana Del Rey's Summertime Sadness? Oh, my God. When that first came out, I loved that song. It was great. So hard, yeah. And I remember downloading it on some, like, app and stuff and, like, getting the remix version. And then just for, like, I don't even know it was the whole summer. I feel like it was into the, like, fall and winter. I'm like, why the fuck are you still playing this? And even next summer, I was like, no. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. This is over. And it's stuff like that. Like, there'll be a stupid chain smoker song, which, as oh, much as I love some of them, they just over, like, replay them and overplay them. Yeah. So, I tend to don't. Do you do this? I do myself a disservice sometimes when I like music because I'm a big music person, right? Yeah. So, if I find an album or a song that I like, play it too much. Dude, I play it too much. I get No, used, true. I play it on repeat because I love it so much and I want to get used to the words and I want to know the words. And then all of a sudden, like, a couple weeks later, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I might have gotten to that point with post i mean don't calm down no no but no. like i listened to his uh playlist on spotify so much yeah that i had to stop for a bit and yeah. chris will play it in the garage because you were starting to be like Ugh. and i did i did the same thing with lizzo I oh played, yeah i played lizzo so much yep i actually food prepped lizzo the other day and i was really surprised i know every single word of every single song but it's because i played it so much but now i like it again you know what I mean okay because you took a because i took break a, a little break. bit yeah 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 exactly after like, her I big think, hit yeah I think maybe a break from from post just because it's circles infiltrant. I hear all the time like it's, I love that song but right it's infiltrated the um mom group like where oh, his his music now has transcended which I feel bad for him sometimes where he looks out in the crowd and it's like moms <laughs> white moms and he's, he's like, like why do I have well, all these <laughs> he's like well middle-aged white women I don't in the mind crowd. the money yeah <laughs> but I always say this I've said it on ross patterson revolution we're like do you know the band weezer yep okay so weezer back in the day used to be cool yeah like they were underground cool they were nobody like, really knew they were them like the nerdy cool they guys. were nerdy cool but they were like even before that they were like 
underground. They were almost not punk, but like they were like that, where yeah. it was like people would go to these underground shows to hear them, da da da. And they finally got big. And they actually talk about walking out onto stage, onto a stage for one of their bigger uh, venues, or like an album had just come out. Yeah. And they looked out in the crowd and were like, it was like all oh, shit. older women, older women, white people, yeah. rich. Like it was completely not what their usual street cred really? group is right yeah. and they talk about that moment of like oh shit and you i feel bad for <laughs> i don't alone. feel bad because it's like all right you're I'm on sure the today show you made it right oh, yeah like fine but i always wonder how those like bands feel when they're like oh man i was cr- i was cool like i, I think I it was depends on the area cool. that you go to also because when i took chris to blink 182 we went in charleston and like when you go to a blink 182 concert right you expect it to be like all punk rock you know kids for the most part and like all people our age yeah there was, yeah. There was guys there in you know <laughs> their popped up collars oh yeah Blink sperry, sperry like, boat shirt yeah, shoes, yeah, 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 yeah. khakis yeah, yeah like yeah. rocking out to blink 182 yeah. like college yeah. kids still and i yeah. was like oh i'm really surprised mm-hmm. guaranteed blink 182 looked out of the crowd and saw like a whole posse of them and was like this is weird but cool rock on dudes yeah which by the way they still sounded the exact same oh they do they were it's insane if you're a country lover don't you know hate me for this but they were a million times better than florida florida georgia line i i don't i didn't even see the show and i knew that would be the case so i will i will say this (laughs) chris has been obsessed with florida georgia line for the longest time it was like I remember when we got married in Vegas, I was actually going to reach out to those guys and just ask them if they can just even pop into our wedding because they were going to be around there at the same time. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Because apparently, like, they I do they stuff would've. like that, right? Like, that's or brought my- you up on stage or something if you were in the show. Well, like- I'm just saying, like, even after. Because they do stuff, particularly for military, too. Like, you've heard all these oh, things. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. going to, like, you know, ride them in and kind of use that in a way, right? Hey. Grease the skid. Do it. <laughs> like, we don't ever ask I'm for discounts. So like, hey, I'm military. Know, he's military. Like, <laughs> veterans. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's really, we never see each other. Look. <laughs> and like, I would never do this. Yeah. <laughs> he has a purple heart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say that, but. But he just does. So you know. <laughs> no, but it was just one of those things. So I, I didn't do that, though. But I did take him to the concert. And it was, a, it was literally back to back. There was Blink-Away 2 one day and then Florida Georgia Line the next day. Love it. And I bought way more expensive tickets for Florida Georgia Line, thinking that we'd be super excited. Literally like totally. three rows from the stage. Nice. Like, looked down at me. I was just like, this is crazy. Right. Chris has not really listened to them since that concert because. Disappointing. He was like, dude, they were so showy. Like, so they had a few people open up for them. I'm trying to think who, but Chris loved them because they were really down to earth mm. and they like drank beers with the, you know, with the audience and their crowd and everyone and they're having a blast. You could tell they're very passionate about it. Whereas he felt like FGL was very showy and they were always promoting like they were promoting their whiskey company or like this stuff. And it was like fire and they were more concerned about like showing off rather than singing. And even one of the singers, like, some guy did something, like, flipped him off. Or I don't even know what happened. But they literally stopped the concert and was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, you know what I mean? The start beat (laughs) with someone in the fucking crowd. Dude. And then the other one with, like, the longer hair was, like, had saggy jeans and was doing, like, like, dance, like, grinding dance moves. And Chris was like, who the fuck are you? This is a country concert. Like, you're a country artist. Stop trying to be... He was just so confused. Well, I'm confused because that's all I've known of Florida Georgia oh, Line. Oh, see, he hasn't. He knew them when they were like back in the day, back in the day, in okay. their roots, like very country. Okay. You know what I mean? So like to saying me, things that's from the heart. Kind of why I didn't really like them, only because that's the only Florida Georgia Line that's like come into oh, my. And so I think that's the thing is existence. they progressed to that, and he Ooh. saw it now and was like, "What the fuck?" Because even Blink One Eighty Two, like they look older, but like. They are the exact same. They, they do really the are. same show. I know. I've seen them like three times. They but do. Like, they do the exact same show. They are the ex- exact same energy. Mm-hmm. Even if they're fighting, they're fine. And it's so simple. It's they're like all three chords playing the fucking instrument. Yeah. And one's on a rug playing like singing. The coolest part is they brought up a fan on stage and had him sing. I miss you. 
Like, and he like sang the whole Did thing. Did he do well? Words. Yes. They were. Was it a plant, you think? No. Okay. Like, you could tell, like, this it guy was, was nervous really, as shit. Okay, like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I know all the words. I was like, pick me, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, Chris was like, dude, that was so simple. They were so talented. They sound the exact same. By the way, lead singer, I forget what his name is, but he's on, um, his kids are on TikTok. Are they? And they take videos of him, and he's just, like, still goofy and weird and funny, and I'm like, that's so awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's stuff like that that people, you know, he actually it ruins reached, music. He actually reached out to, or he was corresponding with Jared because Jared had said that he wants to play him in a biopic or whatever. Oh. And he actually, like, they FaceTimed and, like, talked about it. So he's, su- he's super cool. I know he's Jared just a, like, chill dude. likes, you know, Blink. Look, he is, bl- I mean, like, that's his whole I'll say, I, thing. I grew up obsessed with Blink. I sat there at the old, so we had this big, like, boombox cassette player, right? Where it had, like, the buttons for the sound, and you had, like, multiple different cassette players, and had, like, the old (laughs) fucking record player. And I would sit there and listen to the radio, (laughs) and they'd be like, okay, and Blinkway 2's next. And I'd play record. Oh, yeah. And I would sit there for hours all day long and make my own cassette mixes of Blinkway 2 until CDs came around. Oh, my gosh. I know. Because I loved them. Yeah. So... Because we all, all we had in, in St. Louis at the time was either a rap, it was a rap station or like a rock punk station. That was it. Yeah. And so it was one or the other. So I just listened to the rock punk. <laughs> rock punk. I was an emo girl. Like we talked about this a little bit. Yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. the emo girl, like constantly singing Blink or like screaming out loud, like Incubus. My parents <laughs> would send me, my parents would send me to my room and I would play the song um, by Incubus that, ah. Uh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of what I might say. Yeah. I bite my tongue <laughs> every time you come around. And I would play it so loud because I couldn't curse, but the song was like very upset for me. Yeah, yeah. So I would like blast up really loud and tell my parents like, fuck you <laughs> with a <the> song. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, it was so I my parents, fuck you. Because I couldn't even oh, say yeah, help yeah, yeah, yeah. at a time. So yeah. I would just listen to music. Yeah, I remember doing that to like, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would do like the music, but I would definitely just like kick my door, slam my door <laughs> and then like be in my room being like, just, you know, I'm mad in here. And they're like, yeah. we don't fucking care. care. <laughs> like they literally did not care. Right. Did your and parents ever threaten to take away your door? Take away the door? No, God, they wanted the door there. They're oh, like, go they, ahead. Like if you were in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think they took my sisters away for a bit. <laughs> was she like sneaking out though? Why would you take I the don't know door what away? It was. I feel like because she kept like slamming it or like she, I don't know what oh, okay. it was. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just like very dramatic. That would stuff. be a good. That would be a horrible. Would have been a horrible punishment if I didn't have a door. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, no, you wouldn't I get, get any that. privacy. Okay, I get that. I think that's I why that. it was. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. will earn this if you want to live in our house. I, when I think about it, parents back in the day that like, came up the most fucking creative shit. Seriously, to do it like soap in the mouth spankings you know the belt i'm gonna like, do I mean, i'm gonna do time the, outs are still um, a thing right yeah because you don't want to fucking smack them all the time you know yeah you want the spanking to oh, be my like never a big deal in public but my mom sure had that spoon in her purse for the car oh yeah. or the dressing room or the <laughs> bathroom yeah. she would be it would be like those movies where she like check every stall yeah and then is anyone like, in here you and what? then that spoon would come out in slow oh motion and be God. like you know, and you would she always have to use it or would you get scared enough with it? The threat of it. I can't really it was remember. Both. You know, you know, when, like when you're acting up True. and your mom looks at you, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Like really big eyes. And yeah. She's the same. yeah. You can't even understand what she's saying, but it's, she's so upset. She can't even pronounce words. Yeah. yeah. Like that, for the most part, would get us like, sit the fuck down. Yeah. Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so that, for the most part, and if you not, <laughs> she's like, you know, and that, the threat of that, you know, you're going to get fucking the spoon yeah. when you get in the car. She wouldn't say fucking, but you know, you're going to get the spoon. You know what's scarier you're... than that is when they're calm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's so true. When my mom was like frantic, you were just like, Pff. we would just kind of laugh a little bit like, dang, we really fucking got her, right? Yeah. But it's when it's like calm, like, just get okay. in the car. Mm-hmm. Get in the car. That was when I would start to cry. Yeah. Like, I'm because telling you. Because you know you were going to get Oh, beat? I'm telling you, like, ball cry, like, so scared. Like, why is a ghost? Like, no, mom, please, I promise. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, get in the car, please. No, no I don't want to get in the car. No, I hear you. No, I... But you're going to get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, that is, that's how my dad was. Was he? My mom was the very, like, emotional. Yeah. And like, ugh. Yeah. And 
and it, but it had to get a lot to that point. We were like, you know, pain in the ass. And then my dad was the one who was like, go to your room. And he was like, no, dad, please don't. Oh my gosh. Like we'd be go like grabbing on him, mm-hmm. right? Like, please don't, please. Nope. And he's like, go to your room. Yep. And you're like, shit. Ooh. Maybe if I, and I always, yep. I think that's how, you know, like, I feel like this, that prepped me for my job and steer training, like all the talking, like. Oh yeah, talking someone out of things or talking someone mm. into things, right? The yeah, manipulation yeah, yeah. a little bit because you had to get used to that. <laughs> Doing that in your like job and like convincing oh, students yeah. to do things, like yeah, yeah. I got it from like trying to convince my dad never to spank me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, he still would sometimes. Oh, for sure. But there was other times that oh, you could get out of it. He would. I think lie. he's a girl. A girl with her yeah. dad can pretty much always get out of it. Like oh, I was a daddy's girl. Yeah. I mean, I always dressed like him. I think instinctively, dads are not wanting to. No, they can spank their boy. Oh my god! But I instinctively, they do not want to spank their daughter. Very true. So you could really easily get out of that, yeah. unless it was really, really, really bad, or it was like in the moment where it's like, God damn it! Right? There was a few times where he was like, "You're gonna say I did, but I didn't." You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, "Okay," I'm like wiping the tears away from my eyes, like, "Okay." Oh, that's. And good. then I would just like, I like that. Yeah, that happened. Then you get like, but that's yeah. so true though, because I just. It was my brother's birthday the other day. He's 23. And so my sisters were talking to me and stuff. And we were like, we're trying to plan like stuff for my mom's 60th birthday and everything. And uh, they were just talking about my dad and my brother like fighting nonstop. Like just fighting a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically during the quarantine too. Sure. And I think to myself like none of us ever fought with my dad. We always fought with my mom. Yeah. But my mom never fights with my brother. Right. You know what I mean? But my dad's harder on him, whereas my mom was harder on us. And yeah. I, I think that's very normal. I think it's normal. Right? For families? Yeah. For so, sure. But then, like, even my brother the other day said something. He goes, oh, my God, I sounded like dad. I'm like, the funniest part is as much as he probably hates my dad sometimes, he's going to become oh, a, yeah. mini, a mini dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you clash with the person you're most like, I think. I, I definitely became parts of my mom. When I sat there, I was like, <gasps> for sure. Like, have you ever had that epiphany one day mm-hmm. where, like, you swore up and down that when you were younger, mm-hmm. you would never turn into her? Yep. I would do those things. It's when I drive by a thrift store, and I'm like, <laughs> is oh it? God, yeah. And I want to, like, go in there and find some old-ass piece of shit and yeah. fix it up. Like That's furniture? My mom. Mm-hmm. That's my mom. Is it? Instead of just, like, buying the fucking thing that I want, you know? Mm-hmm. There's, some, uh, there's something you have to it's fix. It's stuff like that, right? It's there's fun. other things, but, like, that's her. Sure. When I'm so driving like, by and I'm like, or a yard sale, <laughs> gross, right? Really? Every time I drive by, I'm like, oh my god, I wonder what treasures in there. <laughs> and it's not a treasure. Go. It's somebody's fucking old ass, gross shit, right? And Always. And yeah, like, you don't Look. think about it. You don't think about it. Yeah. No, but you're all excited because I'm excited because that's what we would do. Like with my mom, we wouldn't have money, you know. Mm-hmm. So you could go to the thrift store and you can get like a bunch of toys for fucking sure. fifty cents, right? And you're like, oh my god. And then she would find some weird little furniture. She would find like a chair that was just missing four legs and a back. Yeah. It was just like a piece of wood. And she's like, look at this. I'm going to fix this up. And you're like, why? Now, was there a point of you at some point in time that you were like, I do not like this. I will not do this. I want like, I want real. I think I fight against it for sure. Like, so I think when you were younger with your mom, were you like, oh my God, I'm done. We're going to do this. I'm going to have money to buy real things. And now you do it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think definitely when I was younger, I was like, why don't you just buy a vacuum that fucking works? It was like 50 years old, taped, duct taped together, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, when I get older, I'm fucking, everything's going to be new, brand new. Mm -hmm. Right? And now I'm just like, I think it'd be kind of cool to have like an old antique couch. (laughs) And Ross is like, no. Yeah. Exactly. Not, I don't want it to be actually antique. I want it to be like reupholstered in like 70s and like awesome. Right? But yeah. I'm like going back to that world yeah. where I'm like, oh, I kind of want to like fix something up. And Ross is like, no, then stop. There was one thing that my my parents said that I hate it too. And it was hand-me-downs. Yeah. So we, you know, we grew up with hand-me-downs all the time. And all I wanted as a kid was just to have my own clothing, own like my stuff. own like real clothing that I was the first person yeah. to own. And I vividly remember one Christmas, my sister and I both wanted those Adidas jackets. Remember those back yeah. in the day, how cool they were. And you would have all those little like talk, like, clog tog things whatever Mm -hmm. on the strands yeah they were all different colors um my relatives my cousins had a little a lot more money than us so both those boys no longer wanted their adidas jackets it was like red and blue okay and so they gave them to my mom to give to us for christmas and then again we didn't have much right so as a 
like as a kid just wanting something we were right. pretty ungrateful for it like really exactly you know and like in these colors we, we yeah. were like black not yeah. like bright blue yeah but looking back like who knows how i'm gonna be because even now I'm, i'll take clothes all day long from people like if oh i have God. a kid i'll be like give me you oh. know oh I'm definitely sure i sure there's gonna come a time yeah when my kid's like you know as they get older even mom me, i just want something even me now like i would i like a worn in like jean uh-huh. or like a t-shirt that's like full you know what i mean I that's like that, fully that soft, worn and like worn feeling i steal my dad's all the time like a story yes yep. so uh, there's still like parts of that that are in it but i definitely i have to fight it like i have yeah. to fight that and be like no it would be more work and more money to like fix that thing up <laughs> right just, yeah than to just buy the like newer thing or but whatever but I don't know if you heard of this. Yeah. By the way, when you were talking about clothes here really quick, right? And if you get like used clothes or like just, you know, older stuff at thrift stores, there's this thing going around that I guess people have been doing for a long time, but you like strip your clothes and you put borax, um, arm and hammer, baking soda, and your detergent. Like, I don't even know what parts. I think they're all equal parts. Let's say like one third cup or something. And you put it in and you mix it up and then you put like your lights in or your darks in and like literally like seven eight hours later it strips and it, it strips like not color from it but like junk that's been like building up that your washer has not been really? getting out like i'm telling you the water is like dark brown it's really disgusting of all the junk that comes off of it and people are doing their towels they're doing their clothes and they're posting of course these videos on tiktok and all the moms are like what, what is the this fuck? like yeah witchcraft and i didn't know if this was a thing because i'm sure with those it. shirts people do the same thing right yeah, they yeah. like to strip it i bought yeah. borax the other day just because uh, i was gonna check it out borax for like in its first what is it supposed to be so i read it on the box right because it was the first time i saw it i remember because i was at blue right i was at bougie harry harris teeter so i was like oh borax <laughs> oh yeah oh wait you were just like this? a rich housewife so there rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it was I'll actually pretty borax, oh, borax. <laughs> it was pretty cheap but you re- I read about it and of course like you can use it I guess you can use it for the kitchen to clean and like uh for like gr- in like between tiles I don't even know what it's called I forget like in oh, the, grit. the b- grime oh the, yeah for your grout yeah, yeah the grout yeah. and everything and like there was stuff like that it gave and stuff for like the bathroom but if you wanted to use it for your laundry it said to put like a cup in or something with your yeah. laundry yeah. and it helps clean and like boost the colors and like get rid of extra gunk in it supposedly that's like, crazy. it's like a booster. It's like basically like OxyClean, but way cheaper, supposedly. Okay. So you're like making your own sort of OxyClean and you Kinda. soak it. Well, yeah. these people All are, right. stri- that's called stripping. Stripping. I guess. And I, I've never heard of this before, but it, it's new. Dang. I guess. Okay. And so I, that's why I didn't know. Because, I mean, when I was I'm younger. I'm not that kind of okay. housewife, but like, I don't, I don't like clean uh. or anything like that. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I do. Only because I can't hire someone right now to clean for me. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't even hire anyone. I kind of just like I tidy up. I have someone that comes once a month oh, and does you. like the whole thing. Oh, but yeah. like, literally, I have enough time to like tidy up after my entire family and get some sleep. That's about well, it. You, you, yeah, you have two extra bodies. Two yeah. extra bodies. Two extra like clothes. I don't know wh- what these boys are doing, but they're going through fucking clothes. I mean, I don't know if my son's just like trying on different yeah. clothes like all day, but w- they'll have a full load every day. I'm sure. Every day. My girlfriend does laundry every night. You have I to. I was over her first of all, her house is like she has two kids. Her house is like immaculately clean, which even for me, I look at it and go, I'm failing <laughs> because I don't work? even have kids. Does she work? Yeah, well, she's a uh, well, not right now. You know what I mean? But her house was always like that. That's crazy. Um, Some people can just do it. They just have energy. She just, well, because I guess she does her, when she puts the kids down, she like do her workout, right? Like, yeah. She's that in alone. A, she's just in phenomenal yeah, shape. Yeah. And yeah. Like, it's her mental, like it's what she needs. That's her relaxing time. To keep yeah. like mentally sane and just to decompress. Got it. And so she'll do that. And then right after that, she kind of has like a burst of energy after she works out. And then she'll do the laundry. Like Dang. for the day, like including the stuff she just got dirty working out and then go to bed. And I'm like, good for you. And she's staying up, of course, a little bit later during quarantine. Yeah, yeah. You know, because the hours are all whatever. Yeah. But she still gets up, I think, at like seven or eight with her kids and does schoolwork with them. And I know. She's Your like. Is all involved? No. She, yeah. I know. She's like super, a super mom, like superhuman. I see it. I'm like, I'm a, if I'm half, am I, if I'm half as amazing as you, I'm wow. happy. Wow. 
So when I get when I sent her ha- uh, when she sent me a text, Happy Mother's Day, and I sent it back to her, I was like, I think I even said like, your kids are so lucky to have me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they really are. Cause dude, and they're such great kids too. Like you know what I mean. Her daughter is like eight years old and has a vocabulary of a thirty-five-year-old, and is probably smarter than most other thirty-five-year-olds too. <laughs> Guaranteed. probably she says some things that i'm like i don't even talk like that yeah her daughter like yeah well good for her they got <laughs> you know <laughs> and i'm happy to hear it so she, i don't really do that but she's so but beyond that like she's so relatable and everything else like yeah you know what i mean like she's a real person and whatever but you walk in you're like dude this is a lot of work i know you i know you work hard on this you know what i mean oh, keeping a clean house oh i was gonna say with the laundry do you ever feel like you have gotten to like the end of your laundry where you're like you've done like either chris's is all done or yours is all done it's like folded and you're like okay i can start now when you have kids or even before i don't feel like there's an end to laundry okay so some a wise person once told me like you will never get to the end of laundry like it's not something that's just like okay that's done because you're gonna walk through and there's gonna be another pile Yep. Do you know what I mean? Like, it will never be like, all right, let's start. the. <laughs> There's always going to be. Laundry and dishes is like Chris is a nice thing that we both hate. I don't mind Same. doing. I actually don't mind physically doing the laundry, like throwing them in and even folding them. I just hate putting them away. Does that make sense? Yep. I will keep clothes folded in a hamper mm-hmm. and like just keep me too. taking them out of there. And, like, kind of keeping them folded, but, like, that's where I'm going to, like, use as my drawer. Yeah. So, currently, right now. You can just, like, see them better, right? I did three loads on Saturday, which I have not done laundry for a while. And oh, I yeah, just, yeah. These are just that's my clothes, it. by the way. Because I make Chris do his own now. Nice. Because he's ruined so many of my clothes. Like, leaving chapsticks in. Oh, yeah. Same. And, like, uh, you know, like, trying to replace my shirts and my nice blouses and everything. That mm-hmm. I was like, listen. If you're going to not clear, clean out your pockets when you put these in the hamper, you're going to start doing your own laundry. And after like a year of it, I was like, I'm done. And it's actually a lot better because he actually gets his stuff clean when he wants it clean. Right? Oh, there yeah. Was sometimes where I had everything planned when I was going to do it and he was like, I need this thing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. workout yeah. clothes, you know, for work. Yeah. And so it's better that way. Yeah. So I'm like, good, good on you. So I have in Gracie. So we took, I took Gracie's room, which is right next to our laundry room. And the whole bed is like... <laughs> A pile of t-shirts, yep. pile of yep. leggings, pile of bras, yep. like everything. And so today I like, walked naked into there and Chris was like, you come, you come to see me naked? I was like, no, I'm going to Gracie's no, room. No, sorry. He's like, oh, I thought you were coming to see me. I was like, I got to get dressed. I got to go. Yeah, yeah. And I was just in that room. He's like, this is going to be your new closet? <laughs> that would be perfect, wouldn't it? I was like, it could be. I would love, I would love a walk-in closet. It could be. <laughs> is that what you're saying? The whole bed's a walk-in yeah, closet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually all perfect. Like, like all the underwear is in one hamper with socks and another one. You know what I mean? Like I almost feel like drawers. I know. Is a weird system. I think so too. Like I wouldn't mind a shelf right? situation or I put you're shelves. Right, like I put a, shelves in. Did you Purposely. for your clothes? Yeah, because I got so sick of just like hanging stuff up when I can just fold it and put it up there. I feel like it's sometimes easier. I don't know. I have a lot of t-shirts. I have a lot of history to it too. So I keep a lot of stuff. Yeah. I have a really hard time actually throwing stuff away like clothes. Yeah. We can, that. we can dive into that later. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it might be something. Hoarder. Put me on the hoard. No, <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's organized hoarding, but it's still like, there's always like a story to it. So I keep it. You know what I mean? Oh I'll yeah. Like, I definitely, like, oh, definitely oh, have maybe to I'll wear it again. I definitely I have never to get into, and I call it like throwaway modes. And mm. then once you're in that mode, like you can't, you can't stop. You can't like leave and come back. Like once no. I get into a mode of I'm like, I'll just buy a new one. It's all right. Like if I need, if I need this somewhere else, like I'll get it, but I don't need it right now. I haven't used it in a fucking year. Like yep. once I get into that, I have to literally just throw Keep everything going. away. Same. Because if I think about it for one second, if I go grab a drink and come back, then I'm like, oh, I love the, I actually love these jeans yep. or something. So I find myself getting into those sometimes and I've been able to like clear out stuff if I ever have those modes. I've been way too fucking lazy to do something like that. But I did that a while ago and I actually was going to resell a lot of that stuff because I have a lot of workout clothes that I don't really wear anymore. I was going to put them on Poshmark, but it's like a lot of my Lululemon stuff, which by the way, I've been wearing Lululemon since 2005. 
You know what I mean? Dang, yeah. Like, <laughs> any money that I had went to Lululemon. Clearly. The first time I went there, <laughs> I spent... That's a mortgage. Yeah. Dude. Lululemon, that much Lululemon, yeah. I think I was with... Where, where was I? I think I was with my ex-husband. And we were just dating at the time. And I was in Canada. And we were at the BC store. Like, they originated. Lululemon originated in Canada, okay. by the way. Yeah. So we were at, like, one of the biggest stores in um, British Columbia. And I went crazy in there. I think I only had, like, a thousand... Like, I was young, so I only had, like, 1,500, I think, in my bank account. Yeah. And I think my order was, like, 22, 21. No joke. And my card wouldn't go through. So I like put whatever I could on my card and I was like, hey babe. <laughs> you knew you knew full well what you were doing. And he did. Yeah. He and should. it was like the cutest stuff ever. Don't get me wrong, like I will say it lasts like crazy long. If you, as long as you take care of it well. Yeah. Like I've had the same capris for de- like are those the see through ones, the Lululemon ones? They did. There's some that are like see through on purpose. They have some. You think they're on purpose? I don't know. Like, oh, here's my butthole. I don't know. See? Oh, I think there was a there was a controversy a little bit ago that number one, I think it was like over. I think it was a decade ago that one, their stuff was see through, and two, they only made it for skinny girls. Because mm-hmm. that was another thing because they didn't mm-hmm. have plus sizes. Yeah. I don't know if it's as popular anymore. I think they have like one like Wonder Under or something that's pretty popular. I don't buy it anymore because to me it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. With every legging company out there now that you can get like in the 30s and 40s, maybe even 50s, like bring it yeah let's do it yeah so and i think the only reason why lululemon's so expensive too is because they have a patent on their um fabric blend yeah they have they have something that they were able to that's what it is yeah because every single manufacturer that i talk to even from my company like they all will be like this is as close to lululemon as we can get without fabric yeah yeah yeah. because they like it, to have a patent on anything or a trademark on a design or a fabric is like millions upon millions of fucking dollars, right? <laughs> and so that's, I'm sure, one of the main reasons. That's why so many people don't patent or like trademark anything, like their designs, because they're like, someone's had to have done it before me. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. But you if know? you can patent anything, that's the jackpot. Because oh, sure. then once you can license it, it's fucking over. But I just watch shark tank i really don't actually know what that means <laughs> <laughs> you sounded really smart though right? that was really it's good something to do with like proprietary yeah does that make sense oh proprietary and, like, q4 blend? and q2 anyway <laughs> obviously i'm a businesswoman you know that everybody else knows that i'm only learning what i'm learning from being in everything i learned being in business everything i've learned about business is from shark tank <laughs> <laughs> that's good though it's good right yeah like a licensing deal i know is like the best thing that you can get yeah. So every time that Mr. Wonderful asks about their, if they have the patent, if they do, he takes it. And then he's like, but we have to sell it to a bigger company. And they're like, no, we want to just have our company. Yeah, and they're really like, small. cool, have fucking fun with that. Yeah. I, I could have made you Because they're talking about money and they're talking about feelings and what. I, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> oh, again, Mr. Wonderful. You know, everybody knows that I'm basically a businesswoman no big deal you're like no a female mark cuban yeah <laughs> oh my god i know such a dick i love when he's like if we can talk do you watch shark tank i do i fucking love it i do and i've actually watched it before being like oh my god i've had a similar idea or it's just even inspiring and motivating right yeah. like good for these people yeah you know what i mean like yeah. making their dreams a reality and going forth with it my least favorite thing is when mark is like gives a deal and then is like but you got to take it right, right now. now you can't talk to anybody else i'm I like know. you fucker i know like, that's so fucked he does it all the time even mr wonderful doesn't do that i he's know like, yeah he's go ahead he's asshole. like he's like listen to everybody else i have this deal that's what it is and mark will be like but you have to take it right now because i'm the best person you know who does that too is damien damien does that sometimes too he does yeah a little bit i've definitely seen him do that like damien will damien will give them an offer and then he'll see them like think or like you know okay oh, he'd be like, barbara, oh, oh never mind like, mine's gone. hey barbara and he'll yeah. be like and he'll be like hey yeah and he or he'll be petty and be like okay well mine's off the table now and they'll be like uh, what and i'm like oh my god that's so fucking well the only good thing that- i mean they're rich for a fucking reason let's they're be rich real. for a reason like while the things that they do that we might think like oh i would never do that it yeah because they're successful in life they're rich for reasons yeah. where you know, maybe we can, we're too concerned with people's feelings. We just need to be like, no, this is what I want. This is how it is. And if you don't yeah. give it yet now, then. Yeah. Okay. That's why I can't, I don't think, ever be a real, like, rich-ass businesswoman. Yeah. Because I can't. I'm, like, wait. <laughs> I'll just, like, squander my money and be like, are you making enough? 
let me just get, let me up that. I want everyone to be kind of making. I'm, you know what I mean. I want everyone to yeah. be happy and like, oh, you, you know what I mean. And then I just fucking give all of it away, and then I'd be like, oh wait. I know. Even with Chris so far, with with mine was just like, um, I have a whole list of things that I've like given away, right? Right. So far, and he's like, this is two pages already. <laughs> right. But in the and I'm beginning, like, yeah, but don't you have to get some interest? Yes, yeah, so you. Ha- it's smart, like you know, giving it out to people beforehand. Or, like, for marketing. Oh, for people to wear it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For people to yeah. wear it, like, that's why. And yeah. there's going to be some things where, like, my OCD ass will see, like, the smallest little, like, tear or speck of, um, you know, color. Like, a little, like, a little stain yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. supposed to be there. And I won't sell it. But instead, I'll be like, I'll give it to a girlfriend because yeah, she'll yeah. wear it. Yeah, yeah. Or I'll give it to an extra, you know, a customer because I'm sure they will. Yeah. Or, yeah, just asking Dude, people, like. that would be so sweet if you got, like, an extra shirt. You're like, what the fuck? I actually got an extra one once, and I told them, and they were like, "Oh my god, thank you for your integrity. You can keep it." See, that's why we can never be <laughs> businesswomen, because a real boss ass bitch would be like, "Fuck yeah, dude, got an extra shirt, right?" <laughs> yeah, but they always fuck up. I'll tell you right now, I'm, I'm like, I just would want to. I told sure them everything. Yeah. So that shirt that was like I gave you that was cut at like a forty five degree angle. Yeah, yeah. I sent it to them, and they were like, "Oh, we'll take off a few shirts for you." You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and okay, like some yeah. of the other ones, and I yeah. So. I, s- I tell them everything. Like, your shirts are fucked up or... No, it's good. Hey, I got an extra one. Oh, keep it, honey. Honey boo-boo. <laughs> honey boo-boo. I'm like, oh, thanks. Seen honey boo-boo lately? I can't even go into that. But... What? what? Honey boo-boo? Do you Have I honey- seen it? Have you seen her lately? No. She's a full-grown... I- she's a full-grown woman <laughs> She's a teenager? She's... I yeah. think she's 12. But whatever human bovine, whatever <laughs> that she's been eating, like, she is a 24-year-old woman. It's sad. But have you seen her mother? <laughs> I mean, it's hard to look at, but yeah, I have. I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so me. <laughs> look. So, no, it's true. Uh, you, did you see No, that? she's like all skinny now and everything. But she I is? Just, yeah, remember she, she did like that show. Hot to not, or not to hot or whatever. Oh, that's, yeah. She lost a bunch of weight. Like she's, she's I know, killing I remember, it. It's I just, actually remember watching that, hoping, like just hoping that she was, would Make a change for herself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do this for you. Don't do it for television. I hope you're happy. Like, I know it's going to be a struggle, but I feel like with that whole beauty pageant thing, like with those little toddlers and tiaras, I feel like a lot of times that was the mom having like this dream that got squandered, right? Mm-hmm. Like the mom wanted to be this beauty queen or the mom wasn't as beautiful to make, to do these things. And so they dressed up their toddlers to do always. it and they were projecting it on their daughters and their poor daughters like always. That's why that show did so well. Cause it was just the moms actually being, you see crazy how crazy they would people. be like, Smile. yeah. And the kids are like, we don't fucking want to do yeah. it. And they put the little flippers in their mouth and have like full set adult teeth as like a adult teeth, <laughs> tanning, three year old lashes. They're like, no, they have lashes. Yeah. On. Their eyes are like, have like a weave in it's crazy they even keep their eyes open during an interview because they have s- such heavy lashes and then on. did you did you see the go-go juice or the pic they would give them pixie sticks like a bunch of pixie sticks right before they would go on so that they would have this like sugar rush and then they would crash after and just be like no yeah way. i think they called it go-go juice but i think it's mountain dew and pixie sticks and they <gasps> give them like a bunch of <laughs> oh my god that's fucking crazy, that fucking crazy? <laughs> that's why that show did so well but why our show is doing so well is because we have sponsors that actually take care of us. Hey, yes. And we would love for you guys to check them out because they support us so that we can be here free for you. Hell yeah. Free for you every week. <laughs> <laughs> First up, we have ghostfed.com forward slash drinking bros. Did you like that? I did. That was I don't very... usually do like a for real that Asian. That was very accurate. <laughs> yeah. Because oh. I... T- <laughs> has to be very quiet, right? Oh, for you. You want me to rub your beer? Well, how how they do you? it on? J- I don't know. <laughs> on what? It was that show. Oh, with uh, Chris Farley. Remember? Oh, oh. Was it Saturday Night Live? Or no, what? it was like that movie he was in with. Oh, I can't even Tommy think of it. Tommy like, Boy. You want me to fluff your pillow? You want me to like? It was something where he was knocking on the door. I forget what it is. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Was it? It wasn't Tommy Boy. What was I it? I think was it Tommy Boy. With his dad dying, and he took over the company. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's Tommy, Tommy Boy, Boy right? Yeah. It was, yeah. Sorry. We okay. did it. Sorry, we Ghost figured it out. Sorry, we Ghost Bed. We don't mean to bring you into our <laughs> our racist rants, but it's just got to happen sometimes. 
ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros you know you guys know the deal uh go to their site go to that landing page right now you're gonna get 25 percent off plus two free pillows Good. and i keep i think they just keep extending the 12 hours until we're done with the quarantine so Smart. i don't know when it's gonna end i would check it out now if you can i say sooner and rather than later so you don't miss out on it sooner than later because 25 percent off is probably the best deal that you can get and you can do a 36 month pay as you go program so that you're um, only paying a little bit per month and not overextending ourselves in the quarantine. I would never ask you to do that. Mm -mm. Next up, we have StrikeForceEnergy.com promo code Lady Boner. I stayed up for the fights, UFC. Did the you? fights till two in the morning. And? I had to have Strike Force. Sure. I put it in my lemonade truly. Ooh. Have you tried the truly, the lemonade ones? No. Wait, there's a lemonade truly now? Mm hmm. So it's like lemonade black flavor. Black cherry is my favorite. Yeah, so it's black cherry lemonade. Oh my god, are you kidding? It's real good. I'm gonna get addicted at that because I always love but it's the same, anything lemonade drinking. Yeah, and it's the same like sugar and alcohol content and everything. So it's not like it has a little bit more flavor, but it's not more sugar or more anything else. So yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm doing an ad for Truly. Sorry, <laughs> um, it's four strike. But force. that shit helps. So <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, me alcohol and uh, energy for me is like Has to. is a game changer. So like, we I were love drinking, it. obviously. Yeah. And I was like, the only way that I'm going to get through this, if I put a little bit of Strike Force, which comes in a little packet, you guys yeah. know this. Liquid. You put it, liquid packet, so it's going to mix, mix super with well. anything. So I put that in the Truly, and it kept me going all night long. Down, 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 down. And I listened to the thong song the night before. No, you did not. Yeah, I was like Cisco? pulling up. Yeah. Thong song? So I was pulling up like 2000s, like Yo, songs from the 2000s. Because people are like. It was really fun because I was like, oh, shit. All the songs oh, remind shit. me of so much, like, the fun days. Yes. So even the thong song, as much as I'm like, uh, whatever, I was Ooh, like. that dress looks scandalous. Scandalous. Yeah. It was like that. And Destiny's Child back in the day, yes. too. Every song that came up, I was like, we need to do that one night, actually. Um, we need to just like, put on all two Dude, I, lo I love music, though. But it's like it's every song. Memories. Right. And every song is going to have a memory. And you're going to be yeah. like, oh, shit, I remember this. And I did this. And then I puked. And I thought it was or whatever. Because <laughs> it's, it's 2000. Like, yeah. we were puking all the time in 2000, weren't you? You were. I was. I was puking in 2005 and on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember I didn't like grow my wings until college. <laughs> grow your wings? Yeah. <laughs> grow your drinking wings? And oh, fly. sorry, Strike Force. Sorry, Strike Force. <laughs> Anyways, go to strikeforceenergy.com, put in promo code LADYBONER for 20% off, and get yourself some boxes of energy because it's summer's coming up. You're going to need to day drink. Yeah. 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 Next up, we have. Mm. Um, this is perfect for right now. Perfect for right now, and perfect if you're day drinking because you're yeah. gonna need to work out. <laughs> um, Beachbody Listen. on demand. This is something that you have used way before we even got the sponsor. I know. As soon as we got it, I started using it, and I love it. It is something that I've fallen off of a little bit, but I feel like I can go right back to it and start a program. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Like, I feel like I could do 80-day obsession. I feel like I could do a 15-day. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you feel like you can get back on track. Um, right now, if you go, if you text BROETTES, B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S, to 303030, you're going to get a free trial membership. Um, what do you, I mean, what do you love about, I, I just love Beachbody. So, it's just so fucking easy to use. P90X, I loved. Yeah. Um. And, and again, too, like they always they'll teach you how to do a beginner movement and then you'll move to the advanced, which I love. And you're doing fit like you're doing weight with cardio. Yeah. So you're getting all that into one, which you need to do. So if you want to lose weight, you You've need got to, to do at both. least you Everyone need to have both. Yeah, you have yeah. to do have to have good cardio, cardiovascular endurance um, and work on that because that will help burn calories. But if you want to burn calories at a resting rate, you need to build muscle. Yeah. Right. And you look better with muscle anyway, like when you're toned. So that one's like one of my favorite. So you, when you that were getting ready for the air force, the that's air the one force, I did. You P90X. did P90X. Right? And then later on when I lived in California and there was really no gym nearby, I did beast. I think that was the mm -hmm. one it was. Uh, it was like a lifting one. Cause yeah. I wanted to get into lifting yeah. a little bit more. And yeah. I love that one too. Yeah. So. Um, 
I feel like you could ever go wrong with any of them because they have so many for your flavor. They literally, you guys, if you just go, go to the site first if you want to do that, but you can look through all the different programs Uh and they literally have so many for anything that you're feeling. If you're having a day where you're just like, I just want to do a little something. If you have a day where you're like, dude, I need to like kick my butt. Like I want to do yoga. I want to just stretch. I want to dance. There's literally whatever you're feeling. If you get the motivation to do something just turn it on you'll find a program that'll be like exciting for you i love beach body on demand and i can't wait to get back into it i feel like in my mind i can do 80 day obsession but i probably can't I think do you, you know could. what i mean you just, i'd have to like well, really don't tell yourself you can't right you're now because right. now you're already starting with a negative attitude you're right i'm checking it i out. think you could i'm gonna do it just be like because that by the way 80 day if obsession, you miss a day that's the thing too you can't if you miss a day you can't beat yourself up no 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 a day. and they don't either like they're not like hounding you or making you feel like shit. just like, like where where were you or anything they're just like let's get into same it same thing with food same thing with working out if you miss a day don't beat yourself up because that's gonna make it worse don't try to do double workouts in a day just realize that okay let's get back on track yeah that's sometimes where people screw up because they try to like you know either they say fuck it i'm gonna keep going down this path and i'm not gonna work out anymore or they try to do more and then it just they get they can get injured yeah or just too much The thing with 80 day obsession is that it's just like they tell you like if you do this the exact way like it is a total body transformation. Maybe I need to do that. 80 days. It sounds like a lot. I feel like I need something to keep me in check a little bit. In check and then it'd be nice in 80 days to be like holy shit I look completely different. Yeah. And they have you take pictures and yeah your progress. And the thing is too is like honestly the workouts even aren't that long. Like no some of them are you know what i mean so if you need something quick yeah if you're if, that's the thing too a lot of times people will be like well i don't have time well if you have a couple hours to binge watch netflix i think you have time you have time do it sometimes while you watch that there you go you have it I mean? on your phone oh i've definitely done the yoga one where i've like been watching the today yeah. show and then i put the yoga it i put it on my phone and so yep. i'm like doing that while also hearing like the news or whatever so it's possible i think you'll be proud of me i've been watching so I've been putting the clothing, like I heat transfer the clothing labels onto my own shirts. Yeah. Which is a lot of clothing labels. Shit. To yeah. put on. Yeah. Um, and when I do that, I like QC all of them. Yeah. But I've been watching Shit's Creek. Isn't it so oh, good? It. It's, it's, it's so like you don't even so have to good think for about you. it. You just I'm so, like. I'm so. It's, yeah. It's really great. Yeah. Do you love. I mm-hmm. love that for you. Yeah. yeah. Kindest regards. <laughs> Ew, Best wishes. Yeah, isn't it, David? <laughs> I love it. It's so Ew, fun. Yeah. So it makes me happy while I do that. <laughs> isn't it? That is a show. And I always tell people, I'm like, if you're getting too something, if you're stressed out, if things are too That's heavy, so put on Shit's Creek. You could put any episode. You could start anywhere and you will have a good time with it. It makes me miss my very sarcastic friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Because I feel like I used to be a lot more sarcastic back in the day. Oh, where yeah. Whereas, like, now, I don't even know. Like, because I feel like when you're surrounded by your sarcastic friends, you get so used Everybody to gets humor. It. Yeah. And you even... Nobody gets offended. Like, you get tougher skin. And I feel like even nowadays with, like, oh, a bunch of, like, pussification on, you know, social media and everyone's all butthurt about everything, part of me is like, man... I don't want to be going into that and getting butthurt about stupid things. I just want to be sarcastic and have fun with everything. Yeah. If you and have so, a group of friends that yeah. like don't aren't offended. Yeah. Right. And we'll, or we'll give it back to Correct. you. Like you say something and they just give it back. Like, yes. And that's why I miss. And so that refreshing. show gives me like the. It's refreshing for <laughs> it sure. Is. It gives me my dose of that. Because your dose. But anyways, go to Beachbody. Uh, text oh, bro at to B-R-O. Check. Text B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S. <laughs> to 30 30 30 and get your free trial membership try this shit out sorry that we were done oh no i mean <laughs> we can talk we can talk during the sponsors but i do love i just wanted to say it one more time yeah but well i think we should talk about we've been hearing so you and i've been hearing some stories oh yeah people are um reaching out to us yeah so and just letting us know you know about how dating and the quarantine's going for them Right. And I feel it'd be fun to, you know, share some of the stories. We w- we'll leave uh, names and identities out of it, obviously. Sure. sure. But uh, I think it's interesting. <laughs> it's, good. Some stuff. it's good for when you're like, oh, yeah, I fucking hate my husband. Then you can be like, correct. Mm, or that shit could happen. Correct. <laughs> I, I think even Chris and I were talking the other day and just, you know, like we have those conversations and. Just how how are things going and if you guys are doing good. And I was like, listen, I'd rather us be miserable as shit and fighting all the time and be together still than have to like be in this dating world and nope. like 
bouncing around and i mean don't get me wrong like i understand that like, so people love that and that's their thing but like i love my husband so much that i'm so happy with him that i know that i can't find anything better and he knows the same thing i don't want to yeah, unless, yeah, yeah. i mean obviously unless it gets bad but you know what i mean it's good yeah fighting's fighting what the fuck ever get over it yeah so uh i mean it's just, it's just a weird time right now but and dating? i always <laughs> i always say that you're gonna trade one set of like Correct. asshole traits for, for another another like either there's always gonna be compromise there's always gonna be like like we've always said guys and girls being together like there's always going to be something. It's just, can you deal with it? Do you love the person enough to deal with their? Well, I was talking to one of my girlfriends the other day, and she was even just saying, like, her, her and her boyfriend broke up, and they, you know, they're very serious, and they even talked about, like, getting married, and he, real and he like, told her that he didn't think he can be with her for the long haul, like, right. get married. And so I guess he ended up talking to another girl while she was, like, they were still kind of living together before she, like, moved. You know what I mean? And she was kind of, like, the audacity. Like, you said you would never disrespect me, but yet. And mm. it wasn't, like, you know, like, talking, talking, but it was still talking. Like, they I were am. still fucking. And he yeah. was, ta like, talking mm -hmm. to his girl. So anyway, she, part of her is just, like, dude, I'm just waiting for him to go out and just realize that what he had was fucking amazing. And that he thinks if he could find better in a way, like he's always going to find problems. And yeah. if you have your own problems too, like you don't open up emotionally and you have a hard time showing your emotions, whatever, like that's going to transfer in every relationship. Right. Yeah. So there was even one thing that I was listening to that was stating that at the beginning, when you first meet someone, you have like that feeling of like love and this, they call it the spark mm -hmm. and your serotonin levels are like super high as if you've like been doing cocaine and like drugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And you feel this like massive amount of pleasure and it's really exciting. And eventually that like, you know, fades <laughs> and yeah. that's where all of a sudden real love comes in. Yeah. What we think is love is not real love. Then love comes in where it's work and actions and constant, like, you know, obviously working at it yeah, and yeah, having yeah. to compromise. And she said a lot of people always are chasing that, like, dopamine high, right? Um, yeah. Did I say serotonin before? Sorry. I mean, dopamine, kind of. But yeah, it's like I that it's high, it, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Where it is, where they're literally high on life. Yeah. Some people are always chasing that. And then that's why there's cereal, just like daters. Cheaters, by the time like that da -da -da. things start to settle, and some people, that's why some people cheat, is because they think that like what they have they now is not a lot, mm -hmm. and it's not great. So mm -hmm. they go out and find a quick little fun thing, and then all of a sudden realize that that's gonna be like plateaued out too, and they have to work at it again. And it's like, the fuck. Yeah. So anyway, like part of me is just like, I don't want to deal with that. No God. You know, like don't get me wrong, the initial excitement is fun. It's so fun, but also the initial excitement can also be like the initial like, why isn't he fucking calling me? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is he doing now? Yeah, I have I mean, to like yeah the good excitement. Out. Yeah, yeah. And the games that you good. have to play or the things yeah. that you're wondering. Oh, my God. Because even when you are having like a good time and you really like someone, there's still like the game of like, should I text him right back? Or like, do you like, are we hanging out too much? Or like, is he going to be like, da, 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 yep. da, 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 that whole thing? So along with it i don't want to play it. i don't want to do don't that. Wanna deal with that i don't no. want to be like why is he not fucking texting me like or Correct. him being like maybe or I should I like text, text him or first or like am i coming on too strong or yeah it's so nice where you just, just like feel comfortable where you're like oh you know yeah yeah it's so nice <laughs> did he hear able me to fart just be like just <laughs> sit yeah. on the couch like letting one lump <laughs> rip and you, you don't do that do you do that <laughs> no but i will say this is i came downstairs yesterday and like went to go like cuddle on chris and he's like don't come over here i just fart really bad well guys so, like, will do he, that and he'll sometimes yeah. leave the room there'll be some times that like if there's been a few times where my stomach has hurt for and, sure you know what i mean and like it, all of a sudden it comes out and i'm like Whoop, and i won't say anything and then he'll be like what <laughs> what <laughs> like and it's so funny because all the guys always joke that like guys are louder and they're like their farts are more like sure. a production value but there's sure don't like smell as bad but apparently like girls are like you just never hear them but ours are like deadly <sighs> deadly dude <laughs> i don't know what it is about our fucking and, like, intestines man but it's the ones that you don't think too you're like Correct. oh that one was just yeah it's just like little like and you smell it and you're like and i just start giggling that's and i don't you purposely to. try to no, like i no. always will hold it in i'll get bubble guts yeah, yeah, all day yeah. long still but it's yeah. or i'll go to another room yeah 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 but there's been a few times where they like pop out and i'm like oh sorry <laughs> you know so, anyways, yeah. what are we talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, we're talking about farts right Okay. Now. So, let's talk about this. So, we heard of a situation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Okay. 
Um, We've heard of a couple. Where a guy and a girl were talking. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the guy was like, invite her out. Yeah. To like fly out to another state to like come hang out with her. Basically, I think they were sexting. So it was like a sexting night of like, fuck you, Joe. Like, Uh whatever, that kind of shit. Like, I wish you were here, blah, blah, blah. And you're sometimes saying that for the moment right yeah like are you saying that because you're lonely right now in quarantine or do you really but mean like it? are you saying that because you want me to get a flight yeah or are you saying that because you want to get off and that will like Correct. help you get off a little like, bit of like oh i wish you were here Ooh, what, what i would do to you and are then, you lonely are you horny and are you fucked up on like alcohol right. or something you sure know what i mean like under the influence mm-hmm. and all those things play a factor we're flying so, so close to the sun right now. I know. No, so this one of those things. <laughs> so, anyways, so this one of those things. So, I guess anyway, the the guy like had a regret later on. Like after inviting her out, like the chick was like, "Yeah, like totally, we'll come and see you." He got in way over his head. Yeah, dude. apparently got in over his head. So he was like, "This is what I picture." He's sexting, and the the girl was like like got the ticket like Mm -hmm. as he was like before he even came (laughs) do you know what i mean but anyway go ahead and so so she's on her way out and so um he realized he had to like stop it it from happening but he didn't know how Mm -hmm. it was like he was scared like he Mm -hmm. was just crawfishing out of it like trying to bury himself alive shit 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 and so instead of just kind of being like hey i don't think it's a good idea if you come out you know like i just want to be friends or whatever just being a man basically um yeah i was trying to be nice but but you know what i mean no, just being no, direct no being be direct. fucking direct like just stop playing direct. with people's fucking feelings exactly so anyway um he decides to lie and say he had covid <laughs> <laughs> but we like know people that he's been around <laughs> he's like not he's been like out and about in the he's world been working he's been around people like he does not have covid he's around like kids and i like, thought when i first heard it i thought oh what what and this might this might be a thing i don't know if you've heard it so like ghosts is somewhere like trying out. to ghost people by you or With like not even ghost, yeah but like <laughs> or you could ghost for like 14 days right you could ghost people. for 14 days and then be like oh man like if you you know how they come like in and out where they're like oh sorry i was like really sick or oh sorry i was visiting my mom or something like that yeah that's like, like oh the sorry ghosting, I had COVID. like the ghost comes back so you could be like oh sorry i had to quarantine and they wouldn't give me my phone and i was <laughs> oh like 14 God. days that shit that like it doesn't matter that we're even in a fucking pandemic they're gonna use whatever excuse they fucking can to just dodge like not talking about Un- their, like believable <laughs> <laughs> like if i would have heard that i would have been like so you are fucking kidding oh, me right he now fuck up like dude. it was just like laundry list of stories just like trying to explain himself and like the covid <laughs> it was just like are you fucking COVID, kidding? like and i just like feel bad i don't want he was like i, I just i would ne- i would hate myself if i gave it to you <laughs> but like so like all, while trying to like also be really empathetic and sweet this is, and, you fucker. By, and by the way it's such horseshit it's such horseshit like because my fucking god pair taught like listen you were like adult enough by the way she's coming out adult enough to make an adult decision about trying to invite her out so you make an adult decision to say no i don't think so anymore and just like that's the end of it i'll buy you like, a flight people home, can respect whatever. yeah like, like hey i'm sorry i'll buy you a hotel room whatever it is like tickets are super cheap anyway and they're doing all the refunds and, like just do be the right honest because if not <laughs> here's the other thing that i think about is like he kept it up so like what are you gonna just <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yes i would love to see him like fake having it do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, oh, it's like, like oh, so like, hot. He, 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 like, looks up. I'm just he's, really like, hot right Googling now. Googling symptoms. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I he, have a he, fever. He like, 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 five Q-tips together, like, takes a picture of it getting up his nose. Something, like, there. I bet there's links. <laughs> I got links. tested today. We know it's really rough that, out here. Exactly. For a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, dresses up. He puts up, like, but, a green yeah. screen and has him, like, at the doctor's. <laughs> yeah, it's moral of the story it's fucking pathetic moral of the story even though we're laughing just be f- <laughs> i know because they got through it's it it's so stupid they're fine that they're that's alive why we're laughing. but, but still. like i just don't understand how that like goes <laughs> even that that would even be an option i know 
that you don't play that and i always say this ple- people that don't play like the tape on mom's heart. <laughs> <laughs> people that don't play the tape to the end right right how does this actually look yeah, i know like, you said it and in like a moment of like uh i can't i have covid right so you're like <laughs> oh fuck but now i have to like have covid and like she's still coming out yeah, like, and like what's gonna happen yeah <laughs> Or maybe he doesn't care. I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even know how the rest of it went, but we saw this from the outside. (laughs) We have no idea what it really was on the inside. But (laughs) I just think it's funny, and I bet there's a lot of people that are doing it, by the way. Oh, I'm sure he's not the first one. For Listen, there's so many guys out there who are, yeah. They just can't be direct. First of all, they're not even, like, if you can't even tell someone your true feelings, uh, you know what I mean? You shouldn't even, you're not even mature enough to be in a relationship, I feel. You know no, what I mean? Something stupid. serious. Let's yeah. just, let's just fucking be real Let's just right put here. it out there. Like, like what are you going to do? God. And then if it goes bad, are you going to fucking break up with her and be like, I have COVID. You can't be around me. Like, you know what I, like, you know what I mean? Or I had to break up with you because I have COVID. Like, that's how juvenile it's going to be. You know what I mean? Like, please. I think I'm dying. I'm going to spend my time like reflecting on my life. Like, I guarantee that's one too. Like, you know yeah, yeah, mean? yeah. I feel like I might die. I can't do this right now. It's not you. It's me. I'm sure people have been like, I, I have co- my own shit to deal with. Like COVID. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <I'm> so stressed. <laughs> and I have COVID. Like, by the way, not a joking matter to joke about either. No. Like people are fucking dying. No. And like having issues. And you know what I mean? I bet people have used cancer. Oh my God. I have cancer. I'm sorry. Vicky's Vicky Gumbelson's dude. I don't know what the um the On end TV. game. I know I don't know what the end game was. That it was definitely not ghosting, but he. I think he. I don't know like, what. Why the would end, you lie about having cancer? I don't know if he got money on fucking television on a show that you know everyone's gonna be like spotlight on you. Doctors can like all of a sudden you know doctors gonna be reaching out to you, be like, hey man, I'll yeah, test you and, and like do this stuff. That was his problem. He didn't play the tape to the end. No, he goes, I have cancer. And you're like, oh shit. Like yeah. now people are gonna fucking now i have to prove it <laughs> and that was my, like that was like my ex-husband Whatever. my mom died oh my didn't god play, that shit yeah didn't play a tape till the end dude the stupidest shit yeah because then to, you're do, like to manipulate whatever they want and then you're like getting married and yeah hey mom on oh, facebook wait, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i think she that's why from the yeah that's the, i think that's why i asked you like you, you guys weren't going to like the funeral or whatever and yeah, he, like, no. he was like no fuck that bitch i don't even want to go to her funeral yeah. you're like that he was so upset she took her life how selfish that is right but no play to take oh my god now you have to like keep that fucking shit going that motherfucker's using covid right now (laughs) dude like i almost because it's someone that we know i'm not gonna say but like i almost was like bro are you okay and like was like dude i I heard about him saying that i made a joke (laughs) i said (laughs) i mean you know i'm not one to hold back oh yeah for sure you know for sure. And I was like, oh, yeah, you, you might get COVID. Yeah. How, how'd you? I how'd you, caught, you do I that? Caught up he on didn't it. Maybe I should have been like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like really obvious. Because even though he tells people everything, <laughs> I guess he doesn't think that that person's going to say anything. So, oh, my God. So anyway. That's, so that's a shitty situation. That's it stupid. is shitty, but it's just stupid. Yeah. The funny part of it. It's not really funny, but the funny part of it is that I'm the sure it's so, happening. The lie is so fucking outrageous. It's so outrageous. And I'm sh- and people do this kind of stuff like when yeah. they're ghosting they just want to do anything to like stop the situation right because they're mm-hmm. like they don't want it they don't either want to don't want to hang out with you anymore they have a girlfriend that's coming they're like whatever it is yeah. right that they have gotten themselves into a predicament yeah. and they'll just like say anything to like stop it from happening and you're like okay bro yeah sure bullshit bullshit so we'll get into one more other sad story and okay. then we'll end on a positive okay you know you gotta end there you have to. we should we could have done a shit sandwich but no we're gonna yeah do, no we're no gonna let's end, on, end on a positive yeah so because people are also bored it seems like in quarantine married men mm. are losing their fucking minds are losing their fucking minds and they think that it's cool now to all of a sudden reach out on social media platforms mm-hmm. to girls mm-hmm um whether like it's in dms whether it starts off as a casual conversation and then all of a sudden like start aggressively asking for like nudes or Mm -hmm. like sexy pictures Mm -hmm. right and then all of a sudden like here's the thing this is what i always say about cheating what goes like it's always gonna the truth is gonna come out always 
the truth will always fucking come out. It may not be now. Even if you think you've built these lies all perfectly and you've covered your tracks, the truth will always come out. And, you know, especially if you're being really stupid and shady, it's going to come out way quicker. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, like, should I say it? Uh, what are we saying? Well, like the girl reached out. A girl reached out. To yeah, us. yeah, yeah. We weren't not gonna say names. We're not gonna or say anything, names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a girl reached out to yeah, us yeah, and yeah. was like, "Hey, ladies, like I listen to it. Like, awesome Liz- fan. Mm-hmm. Fucking love her. She's amazing." She reached out to us, just asking girl advice. Yeah, like, "Hey, this is actually someone that you guys kind of know." Mm-hmm. Uh, and like this situation happened. Kind so, of no, like it's like, definitely on the peripheral. Correct. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. affiliated ish. By the way, that's the first thing we thought, though. You and I both. If any girl goes, hey, it's somebody you know. We thought it was like our immediate group. Like immediately for me, too. I was like. Oh, I thought it was my husband. You thought it was your husband. So that's the first thing you get the pit in your stomach of like, what are you about to fucking tell me? No means like you know their name. Right. Right. You don't like, you might not know know them. You know their name. Right. You might have bumped into them once. Maybe. Right. So anyway. Hey, I was talking to someone that you guys know. I'm, you know, I'm not going to say who, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you this and I'll tell you guys who. And it started off like, yeah, we was like talking and chilling, having fun. And then all of a sudden, like it got like really sexual, like right away. And it was like him on his part. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, okay, damn. And she's like, yeah. So I decided to send him some pictures. I didn't send him on my face. We're like, good. Yeah. Smart. Smart. And so you were listening. Yeah. So she's like taking, you know, sexy pictures. And like any guy out there who gets a fucking sexy picture is going to be like, yeah. Right. No matter like what it is, especially for like the first one. Yeah, dude. You're like, you know what I mean? Nice, hot, whatever it is. Yeah, super sexy. Be complimentary. Yeah. Right. And this guy like got apparently like super aggressive with her and like was like no i want to see more like and was yeah being not very good enough demanding. not good enough i need more want more yeah. yeah and like show me the whole thing, thing i think is yeah what the said. whole thing like stuff she was not comfortable with mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. she was just kind of like am i she's just a quarantine getting to me should i like take i don't feel like i took this the right way like i don't i took this negatively i haven't talked to him since like i feel very uncomfortable and we were right. like no 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 it's not you it's not this you. is not normal mm-hmm. and the fact that this guy's automatically getting like aggressive and pushy with us like immediately mm-hmm. after you guys are only talking for whatever amount of time like that's not right like yeah. any guy should be appreciative and by the way you shouldn't do something that you don't feel comfortable with just because some guy wants you to yeah right so we ended up figuring out who the guy is and immediately mm-hmm. was like oh he's married and has kids oh yeah and it was like what? like you know the girl was like oh my god no yeah. oh my god yeah. like yeah right traumatized because of the fact like she's the type of person who would never ever fucking do that and she wasn't reaching out to be like oh a married man she literally was just telling the story of a dude being like hey is this weird and we're like not only is it weird he's actually married but now it's real weird she had no fucking clue because he doesn't have pictures of his like family really like out uh, there at all no doesn't really put that out and then you never know when people don't put it out there well he lied to her and said that yeah. i guess they did talk about like the fact i guess he's separated which he's clearly not separated mm-hmm. you know and so part of me is just like what makes you think that you can just fucking do this and by the way like she reached out to him kind of like on a professional level not in a flirty level like you know what i mean right she reached out to him from like hey just want to like write to you and say like i admire you like mm-hmm. and what you don't like right. whatever and then like it got taken that route mm-hmm. and it wasn't like she was just like hey you sexy man like look right. at my tits right right so anyway she was appalled and of course we were fucking appalled, appalled. And, and we don't know if this is somebody's mo or if the quarantine is literally driving people crazy yeah. because there's people even in our lives that were like dude, who the fuck are you? Friends, whatever, people. But we're just like, who the fuck are you? You're being, that's so weird. Yeah. You know? Correct. And I don't really care kind of what excuse you want to like, you know, give it or what little title like, oh, it's quarantine shit. That's fucking horse shit. I don't give a fuck if it's quarantine or not. In good times, bad times, super hard times, quarantine times, you should not be having to fucking stray on your wife and lie to some chick, which by the way, through social media, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Which the only thing I will say is that it w- it feels fake because you can't meet up with anybody. There's no way that you can see anyone. Mm-hmm. So it almost feels like everything is like over the internet. Everything is cyber. Like even our friend that lied about COVID, right? It's like 
did he actually think that this person would come? Like, yeah. you're not allowed to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So he's like, stay in sure, whatever. Like, everyone's like, like in this make believe world. We're in this make kind of world right? where you're never going to actually meet up with people because you can't. And then by the time that you can, maybe it'll be too late and you've already like, your whole relationship has run its course, sure. right? Or but like, I think it just goes to show that we're still living in reality. It's this is Still a real reality. world. This is reality. People and are going to jump on the plane. What you say on the internet or through texting or through messaging or whatever still is real. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're playing with real people, real people's emotions. Yeah. And like, guess what? This is not we're just, some cyber fake world. Just pump the brakes. I mean, we really has like majorly broken down as as a society. Dude, like what the fuck? There's some people that are like handling it. OK, they're dealing with it. They're doing great things. And there's some people that just literally are losing their fucking minds. Yeah. And that's just it. Yeah. I mean. And apparently these people are. So on to some good news. Okay. <laughs> so I have a girlfriend. Okay. And she, her and her man broke up. Okay. And that was, that was the one who was, you know, they were supposed to. Oh, they were yeah, 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 yeah. And so she's kind of just like living her single life. Right. And she's not looking for anything in particular. She's just kind of like, just like anyone, when you can you kind of break up, you're not looking for something serious. You kind of like some attention to feel loved. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like take your mind still. off of it for a little yeah, bit. Like something that's yeah. distracting, mm -hmm. but you still want like good attention. Yeah. Like you don't want shitty, like dramatic. I have COVID. No. <laughs> attention. Not that. I have COVID. Attention. I have a wife attention. Sure. So I guess she, you know, got introduced to a few people like guys like that won't hit her up. Like, people that are like, this guy would be perfect for you. And the guy will not reach out to her. Like, right. Follows her on everything. Has her number. Will not reach out to her. And she's like, I'm not going to be the first one to do it. Yeah. She got introduced to this other guy who was like prior, like, special forces military. I guess, like, a SEAL or something. And, like, owns a bunch of, like, properties. And he just came at her with, like, fucking attitude and chauvinistic. And she was like, ooh, no. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, like, now it's trying to be all nice. So, anyway, and she's got, like, dudes in the past who've been, like, in love with her for the longest time. Like, hitting her up. calling yeah, her nonstop. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, pump the brakes. Yeah. So, my husband um, is on team with this guy. And okay. he's, like, a fucking badass dude. Super fucking chill. Hilarious. Really handsome. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so when her and I were FaceTiming the other night, yeah. like Chris comes up and he was hearing like all the bullshit stories. Like this guy won't even call me. Like this right. guy's like not even fucking cool or easy to talk to. And he was like, I think you would really like my buddy. Yeah. And so we start like while we were talking, like she sent me pictures to give to him. And then he sent, you know, her yeah, pictures. Yeah, again, yeah. And then the numbers were swapped. And while we were FaceTiming, uh, she got, she paused me for a second. I was like, hello. Yeah. What are you doing? Pause and me? she came back yeah. and she was like, he just called me on the phone. And I was like, what? And she's like, he now just called me. That's a man. Yeah. Not a text. Not nope. a whatever. I'm calling, calling you on the fucking phone. Yeah. So we talked a little bit longer and we all were like joking about it for a little bit. Like, you know, after asking for pictures, she was joking around like, what does this dick look like, Chris? And I was like, yeah, what does it look like, Chris? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? We were yeah. just joking. And so Chris was like hurry up and get off the phone with her so he can call her yeah. right and so we got off the phone and i was like the minute you get off because even chris is it was the cutest thing ever chris was like he was invested yeah he was he goes it. once she gets off the phone tell her to call us back because guys he goes guys don't do that he's oh, like guys sure. aren't yeah, gonna he's be like, like hey bro. dude yeah right so of course he knew i would find out from her yeah 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 <laughs> so anyway i'm like fulfilling orders super busy like talking to vendors i don't hear anything for like two and a half hours and finally i text her because i was like hey did you hear anything from your buddy and he was like no and i text her and i'm like please tell me you guys are still talking yeah and she was like oh my god he's so fucking amazing we are and so once she got off of course she called me and was like oh my god he's so awesome he's so easy to talk to i feel like i could talk to him forever he invited her out here to north carolina they made a joke right right because he's deploying with Chris, like, in the summer. And so she was like, I guess I'm going to have to come out there before you deploy. And he was like, how about we do a test run? You come out this weekend. And then if it goes good, you come out Is before Is he buying her a ticket? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. That's huge. And she, well, and she made the joke, like, what are you going to buy my ticket? He's like, you know I fucking will. You know what I mean? Like, she's joking. You right. You know what I mean? Like, right. she thinks this is all a fucking right. joke. And she by still the way, thought if a guy, last night it if, was a fucking joke. If a guy invites you out, he should buy your ticket. Correct. That was COVID's problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 
it should have been tip number it one. It should have been tip ahead. number go one. Ahead. So, <laughs> and so, so, you know, if he doesn't buy your ticket, he doesn't want right. you to come out. Go ahead. And so, um, you know, she's sitting there, and of course, she's like asking Chris, like, hey, does he have off this weekend? Like, you're his boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, she was looking, looking at flights and like giving him stuff. And so I texted her today and I was like, so she's like, I'll see you this weekend, bitch. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> he bought her. So the, even this morning, Chris was like, yeah, he was texting me, like confirming his work schedule that he has like Friday through Monday essentially Love off. to hear and it. He flew her out. Love to and hear And this it. is the shit that like, gets me excited. She was all happy and like giddy. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. happy and giddy. And here's the thing. People are going to be like, well, I might not go anywhere. They live like in Texas and the north carolina whatever like you know what i mean chris and i lived in i lived in california you know he lived in north carolina guess what it's it still work happen. if you want it if not it's a fun fling you know what yeah I mean? and then you or can always see each other when you want to if you don't have anything else great going conversations on. you can have some great sex in between but like what's what's what more do you want yeah so anyway she's coming out and i'm really excited because i get to see oh her gosh, that's gonna be awesome for free like you know that's awesome. I know. So he I'm lived, happy about it's that. It's going to be by you. You're going to hang out. Yeah, he lives like an hour away or whatever. So like it'll still be by us, which would be good. But I don't know if this makes me happy. And this kind of reminds me when Chris and I first met. It's it's the excitement. It's the fact that like you have a guy who's putting forth all the effort. The guy who's calling you. Yeah. The guy who's making you laugh. Yeah. The guy who's, you know, basically putting his money where his mouth is. Yeah. And saying, this is what I want. And by the way, I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. If you really want this. Like, Love there was it. no pressure. Like, she was like, oh, that long. Yeah. You know what you mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's good. It continues to be good. And she's kind of like, I never did this before. And I was like, I know it's exciting, huh? Because I never really did it before until, like, Chris. Yeah. Because Chris was like, I want to take you on a date. And I was like, I don't know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, hours later, he's like, I have my ticket booked to San Diego. Or, like, I have my ticket booked. I'm dr- flying in to see you. And then we're driving down to San Diego. And I have everything booked out. And he had all the hotels, like. You know what so I mean? exciting every and it's i was like, like such a like fun and to me well that was like a i was like oh my god i can't even get a guy to drive 30 minutes to go on a date with me right let alone even start a conversation here. over yeah. a dating app which yeah. she's having the same problems right now and now you're flying and he's flying her so i think that's incredible. i think it's gonna be so fun and i think we're gonna need an update maybe we next week we'll do an update yeah i know let us so, know how it goes. How it goes. the weekend? Because I think, because she was like, I was like, dude, you guys come over. We can kind of do like a double day. You drink at the house. Yeah. We have multiple bedrooms. So if you guys want to stay, you know what I mean? Right? Obviously not Gracie's room because that's my closet right now. Yeah. Obviously you have a walk-in closet. <laughs> so, we got upstairs. Who are you, Lisa Vanderpump? Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> like, the room is all pink. So. You put a chandelier in there. You're like, sorry. Chris walks in like, what the fuck is going <laughs> yeah. on here? Oh, nothing. You've nothing. got a little dog out of nowhere. Yeah. We're like, dude, what? I have swans in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely do that. Cause if anything too, we might just go to his property and shoot. Cause he's got dude. You know what I mean? It's be fun. They both are like kind of country. How funny, sad! Like she just attractive. moved to Texas, and now she's gonna have to move back. <laughs> right? To I told her. I told her she should have moved to North Carolina anyway. Sorry, I know. You know what I mean? So I was like, you should have moved. This is another reason why. Well, there you go. You're gonna have to move again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking. Property, Property to shoot. I'm like, hello. I know. That's amazing. I know. All so right. that will end on that good note. So there, here's the thing. Even though there's a lot of shit bags in the world, there's a lot of good people too. Yeah. Even though you got to comb through some of the shit ones. Sure. The COVID ones. And then the good thing about this too is that there's like people co-signing for both of you. So like it kind of keeps That's people in check where it's like if hopefully if they don't hit it off or if it doesn't work out or whatever for the sake of you guys. Oh, I'll be fine. They'll be, you know, she's chill one, and, she's and whatever. She's one of the chillest, especially right. with breakups. And he is too. Like, but he, it's funny, like people when they're left to their own thing where like nobody's going to hold them accountable, they'll do stuff like fake COVID and stuff. But like if we knew, do you know what I mean? That was very true. That would never happen because, because, because word, be word like, would what? get out. Word yeah. would get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the last thing you want is his buddy being like, dude, that bitch is crazy. Like she went psycho on me. Right. You know what I mean? Or same, him, same. So she, it's him like, be like, he treated me like shit. He ghosted me and said he was yeah. COVID. So at the very least, hopefully they would have. A That's civil, true. just fun time. And it if will. it doesn't work out, they'll just be like, you know, sorry, blah, blah, blah. And try and do it in the right way because there's other people that are holding them accountable. I'm going to predict this. They're going to have crazy, awesome sex. They're going to have a, a blast during that weekend. Right. And they're going to continue to talk. But I have a feeling they're just going to keep talking. I don't think it's going to like, I don't know if it's going to get It's going to progress. Intense. He's going to be leaving. I think it's going to progress. But yeah, but I think reality is going to set in where like, hey, I you know, she's like, hey, I live yeah. further away and you're like yeah. deploying. But I think it's always going to be one of those things where like, but like we don't I always th- have I th- to I think feel like the- they're always going to be like, 
sure get along and be good yes. you know what i mean and maybe even the one like i wish i wish this would have worked out type of thing i'm not trying to like <laughs> i'm predicting i'm not yeah saying yeah yeah i but just I'm predicting think like what it might be like it's fun sometimes to not always think of the future me too like well, we, just, we sometimes no, are like but yes you're well, right what if this works out what is it? i'm just like let's just have a good weekend Correct. and i think they seem chill enough well yeah because i guess he told her that he didn't want to get married and she was kind of like and she Here said we something, go again she, well she said so about the other night and and she goes i was like yeah but this is like a fun time she's like no i know no i yeah you know what i mean <laughs> no I know. I know so that's what i mean is yeah, i think yeah. that it's gonna be a fun and i think they're both gonna get along fabulously and it's gonna be fucking amazing and passionate and i think it's just gonna like keep there for sure right and then them both be like hey for sure it was like a great time because i've had like I've, I've had that before in the past where it was like it was always good it's just never it never matched up yeah you know yeah and that's fine that's how life goes love so. to hear it that's a fun story that we can keep updating with yes i love it it's good um do we have a broa or should we go in yeah mm-hmm. oh i'm always come prepared oh, okay so this one is from Brittany aaron white Brittany hits us up quite often. Okay, I'm like, why do I Yeah, she's like always just... Day one. Instagram, like, we're always hearing from her. She's very active in it. the Broet community. Fucking love her. Anyway, she just said, hey, I want to no- nominate my mom, Heidi. She is a corrections nurse at a prison. Bro. Oh, shit, bro. Like, that's a badass hard job yeah. to do. She is literally my number one person. She just recently adopted my nephew, Liam, this past um, September on her own birthday. We've been through a lot as a family, but she is the strongest person I know. She is always there to help my sister and I out, and she always has our back no matter whatever happens. She's one of the most supportive and encouraging women. Um, She has showed me that no matter how old you are, you can always go um, after your dream. Uh, So she has always been willing to put everyone else's needs before her own. So I feel like she is the perfect nomination for Broet. Love it. Of I guess we'll do the day. We'll do so the we, day. Yeah, because bro of the day, because we have a few a week. So we want to yeah, highlight exactly. you appropriately. But dude, I mean, self. she's a mom, right? Like mothers are selfless. And nurse. They're like yeah. encouraging. They're yeah. hardworking. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, you guys should have more than one fucking day. Yeah. That's for damn sure dedicated to you right yeah but, but sometimes we can't even get that <laughs> <laughs> she is a dude a corrections nurse at a prison dude that's fucking hardcore by like, the way i feel like you have to have a ton of patience yep. a ton of love and compassion for people and like seeing the good in people even if you like know that they did bad things that's yeah, hardcore and a nurse too. too and like can you imagine if covid did break out in a prison system like you know what i mean like i have um my husband's uh stepdad and his dad used to be corrections officers and one of them still works there and it's just like it's hard yeah it's a lot just a lot of stress stress too yeah so really stressful the chick's not only a badass but she's one of the most amazing moms so heidi this is to you so cheers oh speaking of cheers oh my gosh we need to okay (laughs) so our wine video as you guys know did go viral Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned that before. I don't know if we talked about being famous, but yeah. like we're basically famous now and it's up to 21. Yeah, 21.5, I think. 21.5, yeah. which is huge. Great. So we got wine from Walt Vinoski and it is from Vinoski Winery and they're located in Pennsylvania, um, specifically Rostrover. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but oh. Rostrover, Pennsylvania. And uh, by the way, Yoski, right? So, oh my gosh, how look pretty at is these that? Awesome bottles, you guys. So, so they sent us these beautiful bottles that has a very vintage wine like label this on is it. This gorgeous. So that's the Riesling. I, okay. lo- I actually love Riesling, which is funny. Uh, Cabernet. I don't know anyone who likes a cab. They gave us two cabs, by the way. A Chardonnay. What? You and guys, another cab, dude. So. Here's the thing. They saw our wine video. They loved it. They were like one of the first people to ask permission to to use it, to actually yeah, yeah, use yeah. it and to repost Which it. I think is way classy. I do too. Yeah. I immediately had so much respect for them. And then I was like, yeah, sure thing. Thanks so much for asking. And then I got a reply back that said, hey, by the way, what type of wine do you guys like? We'd love to send you wine. And I was like, who the, who the fuck are you? My guardian well, angel? Hello. <laughs> like, what type of wine do we like? Uh, I was like, well, anything, but we're Chardonnay, you know, we're uh, cap girls. And yeah. they sent us this out of the goodness of their own heart. 
like thank you i think realizing that we were winos and obviously we have a wine issue um i think anyone that sees our videos knows that we uh dabble considering that we drank wine of the most unique way yes. possible yes so anyway um yeah vanaski vanaski yeah winery uh, Look in them up. Pennsylvania. In Look Pennsylvania. them up. These, these bottles are gorgeous. I know. I can't wait to and, open this up. Um, I, I know. Amazing. We're going to actually taste some probably right so now. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for this. Oh, oh, I think they're Christian, too. They have a Bible verse on here. Love to oh, hear love it. it. Love so to anyway, hear it. I love family-owned companies. It's definitely family-owned. Yes. It seems. And anyone who's willing to just give out the kindness of their heart, like, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it for you guys. Um encouraging our alcoholism with wine yes. so thank you guys so we much always need wine we do so <laughs> hey if you guys want to get a hold of us anytime anywhere instagram facebook is the best to hit us up you guys can hit us up in the dms mm -hmm. and send us your drinking broettes of the day if you guys want to find us anywhere else we're on tiktok and twitter as well if you guys just want to get some random laughs and please, if you guys really do like this podcast, if you guys can rate and review us on it iTunes. It really helps. The advertisers like it, and that's how we keep the show going. Absolutely. So we appreciate it. Helps out a lot. So shirts went really great again <laughs> this time. More Big to Energy is being restocked because that one oh just God. sold out again. Love to hear I it. I think everyone just loves it. In all honesty, like girls just love P Big yeah, to Energy. Dude. We have some tank tops that will be coming with drinking brewettes on it. You know, and then yeah. I was thinking even making some dad hats with like, Love it. To energy so we got some more stuff coming it's gonna take a few weeks but it'll be there we'll let you guys know and keep you updated yeah. obviously so and um we're gonna bust into this wine now yeah we are mm -hmm. you know what wine makes me what happy dude i'm so about to drink this oh my god yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on yeah don't show better things to do yeah go buy some fucking shoes